All right, guys, I want to show you a little trick that I do with these sensors. Uh, because of the uh, this, uh, where I'm going to put it right here, right? <clears throat> and because of this being um, a curve on the wall, what I do is I take some of the edges off of that. So I do this, you know, like with this motion for the corners. So I take some of the corner off using the file and as you can see took the corner off so I'm making it more round so I check with this all right I check with this to make sure that it's uh, matching and now it's no longer uh, separated from the wall so that's a deal, just a little trick to make sure that the sensor which is about the middle here of this face uh, comes closer to the edge. I can actually go deeper than that if I, if I wanted to. Okay, so this is the way you do it: rounding it, okay, to make it. See, I went a deep, uh, a little bit deeper. So this actually increases the signal strength on the sensor from the <coughs> from the. Uh, from the um, crankcase pin, which let me show you something about this. Uh, where's that at? Here. Okay. So let me take this off so you guys can see why you need to be close. Okay. Okay, so. All right, so let me take this off. Uh, okay. All right, so here's, uh, as you can see, the pin on this is uh, there, right? But there is a certain thickness, uh, thickness of that. So as you can see, let's, let me put it this way so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. No matter how much you, you uh, put it it, the, the pin is actually passing uh, like on the edge on the corner here of that, as you can see. So the closer you go to the wall, which is actually oriented this way, you know, so that's here. Here's where it's actually happening, right? So when I try to go and install that, you want to come all the way to that side, right? And to make it even easier, if I round this edge here, I make it closer, see? And the sensor is actually deep here, so it's not a problem. You're, you're not gonna break it when you round this edge. So you do that, and you make it more likely to have a good signal for that. That's just a little trick. It actually works without doing that, but you know, I'm, I'm an engineer, and I, since I know the things, I actually, you know, do those things. So I just wanted to show you guys how, you know, you can increase the the uh, the signal level for the sensor to, to work. So that's how you do it, all right? All right, another thing that I wanted to show you was that this is what I do, okay? I extend this thing the longest possible. So as you can see here, now it's this much out, right? So now is when I press this here and make it um, flat. See that? I still have some play here, so I go like this, push it, Make sure it's all the way down. See that? And that's when I tighten right there. That's when I tighten the the screws here, which are the the ones for the height. So that by doing that, I know that the sensor is fully down into the floor of the back plate. This here, it's all the way down to this area. Okay. And now what I do is, because I have that already down, I'm going to push it because don't forget, this side wants to be, needs to be as close as to the edge as possible. So you bring the, um, let me put the, the screws first. Okay. Oh, here it was. Here, this is the other one. Okay. So what you wanna do is you wanna put this screws in place, okay, and leave them a little bit loose so you can slide the, the plate on the, on the slots, okay, and uh, so you do that, 
go in and then on. Right, so now we have this this um, plate that can move, as, as you can see, see how it moves? So you wanna do now is go all the way into that side here, and that's where you tighten this um, screws you know, for the black, black plate. And that's how you do it. Now it is all the way down and all the way towards the wall. Fold down and fold towards the wall. And that uh, does it. So that's how you put uh, one of these sensors correctly in uh, an engine. And if you wanna do the trick with the file, like I did uh, in the beginning, then do that too. As you can see, now it's all the way down and all the way towards the, towards the wall. So now we have the sensor very, very close to the actual pin that I showed you before, the pin from the crankcase. So that's how you'd make sure that this has a, a good reading. Another thing that is interesting is that this sensor is actually programmed. We programmed, we programmed this sensor in the factory. This sensor will actually measure the maximum and the minimum of the field, uh, the return magnetic field, and it, it uh, finds the middle of it and it sets that middle as the triggering middle. And that's why when you start this thing, it takes uh, three or four uh, turns before it starts working because it's first, it's first uh, measuring the highest and the lowest field strength for, for the sensor, for the passing pin. And then it, once it has both, it uh, adds them and divides it by, by two, getting the, the, the average. And that is now the new set point where it decides whether it's an on or off. So um, it's, uh, that's why it's, it says automatic gain control and self-adjusting self because it has that program built in into the sensor, okay? All right, so that's it. And uh, so uh, don't forget to click on subscribe and also uh, click on, the, on that uh, bell so you can get all the notifications for the um, videos when we upload them, okay? All right, bye-bye.